Hey, up there, YouTube, uh, Cyberspace Land. God bless you out there, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. Uh, no, new man from heaven, new uh, revelation from the throne room today. Shout it from the mountaintops. Here it is. Prophecy on 67th meeting United Nations and 1967, sixth day uh, uh, Israeli war. This is the prophecy from the throne room of God. The United Nations was found in 1945. This is the 67th year at the General Assembly, the meeting. And uh, remember that number 67. That's the uh, key of David. That is the buzz number, number 67. And the madman I ran today at the General Assembly on Yom Kippur, the high Jewish holiday of the Day of Atonement, he uh, uh, talked with the new United Nations. It's the New World Order. He spoke it. We know that the New World Order is using Iran and using the Muslim Brotherhood, you know, to try to come against Israel, and they can in Jesus' name. And uh, here's another key. In 1967, the United Nations wants to, the Israel go back to the 1967 borders. It'll never happen. God, God did a miracle in 1967, six-day miracle war in Israel to have more land so that Israel can defend itself. The land of milk and honey, the promised land, Beulah land, Canaan's land. And uh, here's another key here. Remember the United Nations was founded in 1945. Okay, from the six-day miracle Israeli war in 1967, 45 years forward, this is 2012. So it reverts back there, the United Nations, and God's uh, pre future prophecy here. God had that 1967 war back 45 years ago so they could have the land so the United Nations couldn't take uh, it away from them. From uh, the 1948 borders, they didn't have much, but in 1967, the God of Israel, the battle of the Lord, victory in Jesus, he got the land for Israel. Holy land, holy ground, take your shoes off. You stand on Holy ground. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to read out of the Holy Bible. Israel will never be defeated no more. The God of Israel will uh, fight for it. The temple won't be destroyed no more. The Israeli people will never be taken to a foreign land to be slave. And, and Abijad, you mad man of Iran, you can't eliminate Israel. The God of Israel will wipe you off the face of the earth. So here we are today in Zechariah chapter uh 12, and this is going to be destruction of Jerusalem's enemy. This is today Bible prophecy uh, being fulfilled that the prophet Zechariah spoke this over 2,500 years ago. The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, saith the Lord, which stretches forth the heavens and layeth the foundations of the earth and formeth the spirit man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about when they shall be in the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a butter sun stone for all people. All that burden himself with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. In that day, saith the Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment, and his rider with madness. And I will open mine eyes upon the house of Judah, and will smite every horse of the people with blindness. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, The inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength in the Lord of hosts their God. In that day will I make the governors of Judah like a hearth of fire among the wood, and like a torch of fire in the sheep. And they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand, and on the left, and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them in that day shall be as David and the house of 
David shall be as God as the angel of the Lord before them. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and the supplications. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. And they shall mourn for him as one that mourneth for his only son. And shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. In that day shall there be a great mourning in Jerusalem as the mourning of Hadarimim in the valley of Megadio. And the land shall mourn every family apart, the family of the house of David apart, and their wives apart, the family of Nathan, the house of Nathan apart, and their wives apart, the family of the house of Levi apart, and their wives apart, and the family of Shimei apart, and their wives apart, all the families that remain, every family apart, and their wives apart. And may the Lord has blessed upon his holy work. Egypt, Muslimhood, Brotherhood, you can't wipe Israel off the map. Madman, Iran, Abijad, Iran will be defeated. Syria, uh, Assad killing his own people. Assad, you cannot touch Israel. That's the apple of God's eyes in Zechariah chapter 12. That we're seeing this Bible prophecy being fulfilled 2,500 years later. And just keep your eyes on the front page of the newspapers on the internet that you will see uh, Iran will try to attack uh, Israel or Syria will attack uh, Israel, but Israel will attack back and they will win. Victory in Jesus by the Lord. This is the time the prophets old talked about. And we've seen uh, another. Sign from God today. Yup, Kapar. It's 41 days till November 6, 2012 election, but you could subtract one because day election, United States people be voting. There's a 40 day period now that the prophet testing a prophet number and uh, God's Christian people come out and vote. Pray who to vote for. What God lays on your heart. I don't have to tell you how to vote. You know how to vote. God will show you who to vote for the President of the United States of America. And uh, pray for me and Betty here. And Alicia, at least the Brother Ministry in Pinkneyville, Illinois, will be praying for you. And this is an important time of the video, the message right now. The message is only good as the messenger. Oh God, hide me behind your cliffs and rock. Hide me. God, in a hollow of your hands, hide me behind the cross. Lord Jesus, this is the time, Jesus, to save souls all over the world. This is the time that you need to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You see, the end is coming near. The time is about over with. There's not much time left. And, and Lord Jesus Christ, you know, he wants you to be born again. This is your time. This is your Today is the day of salvation. This is the time of salvation. Turn your life over to Jesus Christ out there in North America and South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. This is the time. Confess with your mouth, believe in your heart. Say this prayer with me. Jesus will save your soul right now, instantly, for the glory be to God. Lord Jesus Christ, Savior, Messiah, King and King and Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm born again. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for writing my name, Land Book of Life. Amen, amen. You said that prayer, Jesus Christ, just come in your heart, to your hearts all over the world. Your greatest decision in your life, Jesus Christ, is in your heart right now. Just give Jesus all the praise and glory and honor. That will be your greatest decision. He is priceless. There's no price. You can't buy him. You can't earn him. It's a free gift. Freely receive and freely give. And me and Betty Kelly here, at least the brother of ministries in Pinkneyville, Illinois, and Alicia Kelly will be praying for you, be praying for us. And we thank you, you two, putting this video on the YouTube channel. And God bless you all. The hand of the Lord rest upon you. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Your cup runneth over from the north, south, east, and west. Jesus loves you. Time is short. Just give Jesus all the praise and glory and honor. Email George and Betty Kelly's channel.
tells you except to Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, or, or I address it on the profile, write us, tell the good news about Jesus Christ, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Savior, Messiah of the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.